November 30th, Florida State versus the Florida Gators. Everybody knows that game is going to be a big game for Willie Taggart and Dan Mullen. But the game before that, Florida State versus Alabama State, just got a lot more interesting. And I'm going to tell you why right now. We're talking DeAndre Francois, the former quarterback of the Florida State Seminoles. Let's get it. With the squad, mess with one of us. You ain't messing with my vision. Messing with the money. You ain't messing with this. Really quick, guys, my name is Grant. I run NMD TV, and my goal is to become a full-time content creator. If you want to help me on this mission, help me on my grind, then sign up to the Patreon page. The link is in the description, and it'll pop up at the top of the screen. When you sign up, you get exclusive content, Q&A, private live streams, and access to the Patreon-only podcast. Enjoy this video. Let's What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV. No more defeats TV. All we do is win. Never take any losses and shout out to all my bosses. Guys, if you love college football, this is the channel for you because I talk about college football 24-7. And today we're talking about DeAndre Francois, former quarterback of the Florida State Seminoles. And we all, a lot of people know his history. I'm going to go through a quick recap. I've made ser several videos on DeAndre Francois. One's going to pop up on the screen, hit the top of the screen to watch that. But... Basically, Francois came out, was the quarterback of Florida State, had an all right um, couple years with Florida State, ended up getting injured towards the end of it. But under the new quarterback, Willie Taggart, things were supposed to look up. But he ended up getting kicked off the team due to alleged um, allegations from his girlfriend on Instagram that there was verbal or some type of abuse. Well... He gets kicked off the team. People don't hear a lot from DeAndre Francois for a while, and he ends up letting people know that he expects to transfer to Florida Atlantic University under Lane Kiffin and learn the quarterback position better, compete for a starting job. That's where he has been the last month, and it seemed as that would be the team that he would learn and grow under and you know maybe turn his career around. Well, now there are rumors. Now, no, I said rumors that a possible transfer could happen again. DeAndre Francois could possibly transfer to Alabama State University. Yes, that's a, that's a FCS level school, Alabama State. And what they're saying is he's been on campus. He's been visiting in hopes to possibly transfer there. And he would play the rest of his college career at Alabama State. Now, why is this important? It is important because on November 16, 2019, who does Alabama State play? They play the Florida Seminoles in Tallahassee right before Florida State plays the uh, Florida Gators. So that kind of sets up an interesting weekend, what looked to be just a tune-up game for the Gators. They'll actually be playing their former quarterback, who, let's be honest, would love, would love to dominate Florida State and uh, get back at Willie Taggart for dismissing him from the team. Now, being realistic, Florida State is three times as good as Alabama State. So I don't see Fred Swag going to Alabama State and beating Florida State. But hey, it's college football. Any given Saturday, you never know. So. Let's tell you the facts just so I let people know. The facts are DeAndre Francois is at Florida Atlantic University, has been there the last past month. And the past week, he has been on campus at Alabama State visiting the school. He is not officially, uh, he's not officially announced that he will be transferring there. It's not official just let, but just yet. But of course, I will keep you updated, guys. Make sure you hit the video on the screen. I'm out. Much love. And as always, guys, no more defeats.